Continuing our completely unorganized coverage of Umbrella Academy, we wanted to touch today on one of the characters from Umbrella Academy that doesn't get as much love as I think he should, and that is Luther Hargreaves, a.k.a. number one Space Boy. Feel free to check out our other Umbrella Academy videos, yada yada yada, things on the screen, you know how to do it, just click stuff. Luther is one of the members of the Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy is a collection of seven children who were all adopted and placed onto a superhero team by the eccentric billionaire Sir Reginald Hargreaves. From this point on in the series, I'm going to go ahead and just go in order for the rest of the children, so next I'll do Diego and so on and so forth. Now, if you've seen these videos so far, this next part will sound very familiar to you. Like everyone else in the Umbrella Academy, Luther was born unexpectedly on the same day. What's interesting about the children born on this day was that none of the women who gave birth to these children were pregnant before that day. They conceived, carried, and gave birth within a matter of moments. And what's more interesting is that the children born on this day all seem to have some special type of ability. 43 superpowered individuals were born on the same day. These videos cover the comic book origins and abilities of the characters, but there will be some elements of this video that contain spoilers for the show and future seasons of the show potentially. That being said, if you're sticking around to hang out, then, you know, consider yourself warned. Luther is the first child adopted, and subsequently Luther is the crown jewel of his father's team. Everything Luther attempts, he naturally excels at. Because of this reason, he's given the codename number one, and he is named the leader of the team, much to the dismay of other members. Luther's powers aren't often described in the comics, but he does appear to be at least super strong. Often he appears to be as strong as he needs to be in order to complete an objective. In addition to super strength, he also appears to have the ability to jump extremely high, often jumping many miles in a single bound. In terms of interpersonal relationships within the team, Luther and Allison, number three, are shown to be in love, having shared intimate moments in the comics. Luther's codename of Space Boy comes from the fact that he is the youngest person to ever travel in space. The only reason that we know he was the first child in space is due to a poster on the wall in one of the panels. The rest of the team regularly refers to him as Space. Now on to Luther's history. The same panel tells us that during a mission to Mars, there's a critical failure where Space Boy is injured, and his dad, Hargreaves, performs experimental surgery on him to save his life, grafting his head to the body of a Martian ape. Now on to Luther's history. Ten years after their adoption and after rigorous training, the Umbrella Academy makes their debut in Paris to stop zombie robot Gustav Eiffel and his rampaging Eiffel Tower. Luther, of course, leads the battle and is responsible for identifying the true culprit. He punches the entire tower over in one super strike. His brother Diego murders Gustav Eiffel and in the process triggers the tower to launch itself into space. They save the day and are awarded with ice cream and he tells his father that he wants to go to space. And of course he eventually does as noted in the video before. During another mission, Dr. Terminal captures Luther's main love interest, his adopted sister Allison, number three. Dr. Terminal is a man with Einstein syndrome, a degenerative disease that eats away at his nervous system, but he also created a device to keep his body alive that feeds off of matter. Luther smashes through a wall, and it's presumed that he beats the crap out of and captures Dr. Terminal. Dr. Terminal is then sent to an interdimensional jail known as the Hotel Oblivion, a creation of Reginald Hargreaves that he uses to imprison the most dangerous foes of the Umbrella Academy. Think of it like the Phantom Zone from Superman comics? And in another mission, the team defeats the Monument of Abraham Lincoln as part of some kind of shady deal between their father and President John F. Kennedy. This has kind of been detailed in other videos, so feel free to check out all of these in order to kind of make the most out of what these videos are trying to do. During another mission, Luther's brother Ben, number six, the horror, is murdered and the Umbrella Academy disbands shortly thereafter. Luther is believed to be the main cause for this death, presumably due to a leadership error. Luther apparently moves to the moon with his family's simian helper Pogo, as well as a robot named Ben, presumably named after his dead brother. During the next few years, Luther lives on the moon, keeping watch over Earth from intergalactic threats. It's unknown if he ever faces anything during that time, but eventually he does receive a call from home asking him to return because his father had passed away. Luther is reunited with his siblings during the story The Apocalypse Suite and goes about the process of helping stop the Earth from destruction at the hands of his sister Vanya. 
I really don't want to go through that story again, so feel free to check out our video on Vanya for a more complete look at the story. However, after Vanya is stopped, Space Boy confines himself to the remnants of the Umbrella Academy, and he also packs on like 200 pounds and becomes super duper fat, which I respect because that's happening to me currently also. During the events of the miniseries Dallas, it's revealed that Number 5 is actually a time-traveling assassin who abandoned the company he works for to stop his sister during Apocalypse Suite. I'll cover way more of the Dallas story in Five's video, but for now, just know that his job is to assassinate John F. Kennedy in the past in order to prevent another end-of-the-world scenario. During this story, the Seance and Space Boy are captured by psychopath assassins named Hazel and Cha-Cha. Space Boy and mostly the Seance end up killing the assassins. They end up going back to the Umbrella Academy, and they go to the grave site of Pogo, who died during the events of Apocalypse Suite, and they find that his corpse is no longer there, indicating that the timeline has changed. His body is instead replaced with a time agent's corpse. The Seance, Diego, and Space Boy travel back in time using the corpse in order to stop Five from completing his task of killing JFK. Seance, Five, and Space Boy travel back in time and end up in the Vietnam War. However, they get there three years before Kennedy's assassination. This part is pretty ridiculous, as I mentioned in other videos, but Diego ends up in a mission where he's transporting the corpse of an ancient mummy across Vietnam in order for the Seance to resurrect it in Saigon to destroy everybody and end the Vietnam War. The team gets jumped by Vietnamese vampires, and the seance is forced to resurrect the mummy early. The rampaging mummy is destroyed by Space Boy in a gigantic Shoryuken. We learn that during this three years, Space Boy ends up being a guerrilla fighter in the war, Diego is a military commander, and Klaus has reserved himself a spot as a nightclub owner in Saigon. The whole team converges in Dallas, where the rumor ends up killing JFK. During this time, we learn that Luther and Five share the same biological mother, making them the only two members on the team that are biologically related. The whole mission leaves Space Boy extremely disillusioned, and he abandons the team. And without a strong leader to hold them together, the entire team disbands. The last little bit of this video is going to feature a few pieces from the latest series, Hotel Oblivion, but I won't cover much because that story is not complete at the time of this video's recording. However, this story is pretty batshit crazy for Luther and Diego, so during the events of Hotel Oblivion, Luther's living in Japan and he's still somewhat functioning as a superhero. Luther's also looking for a person who knew his father named Dr. Zhu. Diego comes to Tokyo and he and Luther track down Dr. Zhu. Luther ends up losing all of the weight he's acquired in a few hours on a special piece of workout equipment that Zhu had created. Diego and Luther go with Dr. Zhu into a part of space not ventured into before called After Space. After retrieving the body of Saint Zero, they're pulled into a tear in space-time and they land on a world containing the Hotel Oblivion. The Hotel Oblivion, as I mentioned before, was built by their father and is a holding ground for the world's most dangerous prisoners that the Umbrella Academy had defeated. Yet recently, there was a breach and a lot of those enemies came crawling back into the world. So my guess is that the rest of the series will have to do with Luther, Diego, and the rest of the team converging in order to put all of these villains back into the Hotel Oblivion before they, you know, destroy the world. That is about it for Luther's comic book origins and powers. Like I've mentioned before, there are other comics still coming down the pipeline for this, so more information will be available in the coming months. So one last thing I'd like to bring up here is that there is no Umbrella Academy wiki for the comics. I mean, there is, but it's not very well fleshed out. So a lot of you might be looking for more information. And I just want to say that these videos are probably some of the most expansive videos on this subject on the internet. Now, unfortunately, because of how tightly woven these characters are, you're going to get a lot of the same information in some of these videos. But keep in mind that to get the entire picture and to really understand the history of these families, you really need to probably watch all of the videos. And I know that's probably viewed as just like a salesman's pitch to get you to watch all the videos, but they make a lot more sense once you view all of them. If you want to see more, please subscribe because we'll pretty much have one of these videos for every single character in the Umbrella Academy. People seem to really be digging them. Also, if you're already a subscriber, or even if you're new and want to support us, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button below. We have a ton of cool membership perks. 
Also, check out our insane Discord server where you can meet tons of other comic book and comic book movie and TV fans, and that link is in the comment section and the description and pretty much everything else that we do. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and you know the motto, comics over everything.